Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in today's video, I'm very excited to share with you that you can now send daily reminders for the tasks your staff or team members have to fulfill. The task notification reminder feature can be set up in a way that you or your staff or your team members will receive push notifications via phone or desktop, as well as emails or SMS. So what's new? There are three new things. Number one, customizable reminder times. You can now schedule reminders for your tasks at times that suit you best. Let's say, for example, you're running a sales team and every morning when they log in or every evening or whenever they work, depending on their time zone, you want them to see exactly the leads they have to call. So you can set this up according to their time zone so that they know exactly what needs to happen on that day. Number two, multiple notification channels. You can receive reminders through push notifications, SMS, as well as emails. And number three, daily notifications. You can now set daily reminders for both your due and overdue tasks. Now let me show you where you can set up the times as well as the notification channels through which you want to receive the information. So first click on settings at the bottom left, then click on my profile on the left. And at the top, you want to click on notifications. So here you can see three tabs, in-app, email, and SMS. And the in-app, this counts for both the mobile version as well as the desktop version. So here in the top right-hand side, you can see the little orange notification bell. That's for the desktop where the notifications would come in. And for the mobile version, for example, you can see here at the top, there is the little lead connector notification. On an Android, for example, you would pull this down, you would see the notification lead connector, this person replied to your email, or this task is due, this is how the notification would look like. Then here on the left, you have your notification settings. So first, the conversation notifications. Notify for all new conversations and messages initiated with the account. So you can check mark in app, you can check mark email, and you could check mark SMS as well. Next up is notify when conversation gets assigned to me. So you would have to set this up in workflows and say, hey, this conversation is assigned to this particular user. Then you can mark in app email as well as SMS. Okay. So you can select them like this and you can just deselect them like that as well. Next up, you can notify for a new message on a conversation I am assigned to. So if you have the conversation already assigned and there's a little of back and forth going on and you want to stay on top of your game, knowing when your customer replies or your prospect, so you can be as fast as possible. Again, all three channels can be enabled right here. Down here, you have the task notifications. So notify when a task gets assigned to me, you can mark in-app, email, as well as SMS. Then you can set it here, get a reminder, 15 minutes, for example, 30 minutes, 60 minutes before an upcoming task. Let's say we have a meeting to attend, for example, and you have the presenter who is presenting with a presentation and then you want to remind them 60 minutes or 30 minutes before, hey, remember the presentation is happening soon. Again, can be in app, email and SMS as well. Then this one sent the daily summary of due tasks at 8 a.m. when your people start working. So everyone knows what they need to do. Available for all three channels. Then you can send a daily summary of overdue tasks. When they finish a task, they can check off the task, right? But sometimes they didn't finish a task. So please make sure that you send them a reminder again. Hey, remember before you start the new tasks, for example, make sure that you tick off the old ones because they're already overdue. And since we're here, let's quickly talk about WordPress, Facebook, and Google. So again, you can also send notifications for WordPress. If somebody signs up for your WordPress services, then you can send an email notification. This is not supported for in-app or SMS. Then for the Facebook review, if somebody gives you a Facebook review, then you can be notified in-app and via email as well as via SMS. The same counts for Google. You can be notified via in-app, email, and SMS. When you change this, make sure you hit save on the bottom right so that it actually saves the new settings. Now, let me show you real quick how the forwarding of the notification works as well. So I'll click on notifications and here you can see all the notifications that came in. You can see here a person replied to an SMS in a conversation which we had going on. So if you click on this, it will directly forward you to the conversations tab of that particular person who replied to the SMS and you can immediately follow up and keep the conversation going. This is how it looks like when your team receives the notification email. It lists out all the tasks, what is happening, when it is due, and there is also a button. They can just click that button and be forwarded to the entire task list immediately. In case you forgot, you can find the entire tasks list as well under contacts and then tasks. And that's it already. This is how you set up task notification reminders in channels like emails, SMS, as well as in-app mobile and desktop. I hope you like this new feature, which will help you to be more productive and will help your team to meet their deadlines more effectively. I will see you in the next video.